NXL A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, October 2021, Question 4. The curve with equation y equals f of x, where f of x equals x squared plus log natural 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, has a single turning point at x equals alpha. For part a, we need to show that alpha is a solution of the equation 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0. So we've got our function. For there to be a turning point at x equals alpha, this will fit into the equation f dash x for the derivative of x equal to 0, because we know when f dash x is 0, that's our turning point. So differentiating f of x, we get this. We've got this by doing x squared. Differential of that is 2x by bringing the power down. The log natural is a little bit trickier, but if we use the chain rule, we would differentiate the function inside the log. So 2x squared minus 4x plus 5, that becomes 4x minus 4. And we multiply that by what we'd normally get when we differentiate the log, which is 1 over what's inside. So in this case, 1 over 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Simplifying this, we get 2x plus 4x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 4x plus 5. Now, as I say, this is a turning point, so we want f dash x equals 0. So setting that equal to 0, we can multiply through by 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 to give us 2x times by 2x squared minus 4x plus 5 plus the numerator 4x minus 4. And that's still equal to 0. Expanding the bracket and collecting like terms gives us 4x cubed minus 8x squared plus 14x minus 4 equals 0. This isn't quite what we're aiming for, but we can see that each of these coefficients is even. So if we divide through by 2, we get 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 2 equals 0 as required. The iterative formula xn plus 1 equals a seventh of 2 plus 4xn squared minus 2xn cubed is used to find an approximate value for alpha. Starting with x1 equals 0.3, we need to calculate, giving our answers to four decimal places, x2 and x4. So to find x2, we're just going to put x1 into our iterative formula. So x1 is 0.3, so x2 is going to be a seventh of 2 plus 4 times 0.3 squared minus 2 times 0.3 cubed, which we put into a calculator, it gives us 0.3294. So there's our x2. To get to x4, we're going to need to find x3 first. So again, just putting our value into our iterative formula. So this time we've got a seventh of 2 plus 4 times 0.3294 squared this time, minus 2 times 0.3294 cubed, which gives us 0.3375. And then to find x4, we're going to put that in again. So a seventh of 2 plus 4 times 0.3375 squared minus 2 times 0.3375 cubed gives us x4 value of 0.3398. Part C, we need to use a suitable interval and a suitable function and state this function to show that alpha is 0.341 to three decimal places. So we know that alpha is the turning point of our curve, so it must be the point where f dash x is equal to zero. So here's our f dash x, 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 7x minus 2. If we take the two bounds for alpha, put these into f dash, we should get a positive and a negative. So as alpha has been rounded to 0.341 to three decimal places, the minimum it could be is 0.3405, which if we put into our f dash function will give us negative 0.00131. The upper bound for alpha is 0.3415. If we put this into f dash, we get 0.00366. So we've got a change of sign from negative to positive. As this is a cubic, we know that f dash x is continuous. So because of those two things, alpha must equal 0.341 to three decimal places. If you've enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel to keep up to date with all the latest releases.